on a second. He, you said Blake was just a friend. He was just a friend, and one thing led to another. Oh, so just like that, you're leaving me? What did you want me to do? He takes me out all the time. Something you never did. But I took you out all the time, too. Taking me to a golf tournament doesn't count, Arthur. But you're a fashion blogger. I wanted you to see the latest in golf fashion. You never bought me flowers. You never bought me jewellery. You never complimented me. But I complimented you all the time. You know, the other day I was telling Vivian what a natural gift for acting you have. Politically, you're from the right, but you act like you're from the left. I knew you'd leave me sooner or later. It's not my fault. Blake's like a freight train. Oh, you say like it's a good thing. It is. It's what frustrated me about you. You didn't act like you couldn't live without me. But I can't live without you. Really? Yeah. That's so nice to hear. Oh, so then you leave him? I'm sorry, sweet Petal. I can't. Hi, Blake. Petal. Petal? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'll get some on the way over. Do you want anything else? Okay, I'll get a bottle of red then. Why? <laughs> See you in a jiff. You're living with him? He makes 300000 a year, Arthur. Unlike you, he loves shopping and travelling. I like shopping and travelling too, but I just can't afford to travel. So why should I be denied of something I enjoy? Because you can't afford it. Well, do you love him? No. Then all that means nothing. It means security, Arthur. But you have security. The government's border security. It's so extreme. It's broken international law. Arthur, can I be honest? Well, that'd be nice for a change. No attractive woman with any dignity would choose to spend the rest of her life with an unemployed actor. But I am employed. The cafe.